There's a super benign drug commonly used in people for alcohol addiction. It could be really useful for our dogs and cats. I'm talking about the opiate antagonist naltrexone. Naltrexone has been shown to be really beneficial for many of the cancers and many other veterinary conditions. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. What is this drug naltrexone? It's a medication that's used in people to treat alcohol addiction, also reverse the effects of opiates. I commonly use this in veterinary practice. When we sedate a dog with a common opiate, such as hydromorphone, the fastest and easiest way to reverse that opiate, have that dog wake up quicker, was using an opiate antagonist, something such as naltrexone. My point being here, the opiate antagonists have been used for years in veterinary medicine. They're extremely safe, extremely well tolerated, but you would not believe the array of different medicinal uses they're now been shown to have. How is this drug, this naltrexone working? Well, first think about how it normally or typically works. You know, someone who's say an alcoholic, you know, they take that shot of alcohol, they get this big flush of endorphins, right? It's like the big happy hormone. They've had something go ahead and bind to these opiate receptors. So the big way in terms of treating addiction is blocking that big endorphin release. You give a drug such as naltrexone, it binds the opiate receptors. Guess what? You take all that alcohol in, the endorphins don't get released. But therapeutic for the diseases for our animals, we're actually talking about low-dose naltrexone. It turns out that the opiate receptors, the release of endorphins, it plays a huge key role in many of the diseases that we're seeing in people, we're seeing in our dogs and cats. Some of the cancers, for instance, a key part of them growing is use of opiate receptors. Some of the inflammatory diseases, the autoimmune diseases, part of the role of the disease involves the opiate receptors. For instance, in some of the cancers, when naltrexone is given at a low dose, this low dose naltrexone, you then see an increased response of those receptors, the endogenous endorphins, that results in apoptosis or cancer cell death. Also, the immune system gets affected. We have increased activity of certain cells in the immune system, i.e. these natural killer T cells, and that can also result in cancer cell death. But I think the easiest way to sort of make sense of all this and tie all these different diseases together is you're giving naltrexone at a really low dose. It is modulating these opiate receptors, which play a key role in the pathogenesis of so many of these different diseases. When that happens, that can alter the course of that disease. Let's talk about the big uses I see this drug naltrexone in our animals. Number one, for so many of the cancers our dogs and cats can get, lymphoma, adenoma, nasal oral cancers. It's being especially studied for mammary gland adenocarcinoma, that's equivalent of breast cancer. Some of the really difficult to treat brain cancers, they're being successfully treated with low-dose naltrexone. Many of the studies involve the use of chemotherapy along with low-dose naltrexone, and what they're finding is when they add in the low-dose naltrexone, far, far better results. But it's also being used as a single agent treatment. And if my dog, for instance, were to have lymphoma, definitely naltrexone would be way up on my list. There's these compulsive behavioral disorders. You'll get these dogs that chronically lick their front paw, acrylic dermatitis. That's being treated with low-dose naltrexone. If you have an animal with chronic vomiting, chronic vomiting diarrhea, your dog or cat may have inflammatory bowel disease, low-dose naltrexone, that's a serious treatment to consider. What they're finding is the low-dose naltrexone, it modulates some of those opiate receptors within the cells that are relaying and causing this inflammatory bowel disease they're seeing a marked reduction in clinical signs. And low-dose naltrexone, LDN, it's also being used in people for IBD. There's a really common condition we'll typically see in our mid to larger breed dogs called DM or degenerative myelopathy. DM, degenerative myelopathy, it's a result of spinal nerve cell degeneration. Certain breeds can get it more common, i.e. the German Shepherd, but any of the breeds, the cross breeds can get it. It's characterized by progressive rear limb weakness. And it's an incredibly difficult disease to treat. We don't really have many good options in veterinary medicine. One option that is seriously being studied is LDN, the low-dose naltrexone. And I 100% know now if I had a dog that was diagnosed with degenerative myelopathy, I would definitely be considering low-dose naltrexone. Many of these autoimmune diseases and diseases related to the immune system that our dogs and cats can get. Think of the autoimmune skin diseases, diseases such as systemic lupus. Type 1 diabetes, which we know is an autoimmune basis to it, just imagine the immune system is as attack the pancreas, the pancreas is not producing enough insulin. That's the type of diabetes our dogs can get. The use of LDN, low-dose naltrexone, it's been studied for that. 
Last but not least, I wanted to mention Cushing's disease. A dog with Cushing's disease, typically we're dealing with an older small breed dog, increased drinking, increased urination. We may see symmetric hair loss. We may see the swaying pot belly. Majority of the dogs that have Cushing's disease, it's caused by a benign pituitary tumor. And one of the new specific treatments is being studied for Cushing's, LDN, the low dose naltrexone. Is naltrexone safe? Specifically, low dose is considered very safe. There can be some GI side effects. Sometimes animals can be allergic to it, but in general, most animals tolerate it extremely well. And what about doses of low dose naltrexone? Typically, we're looking at in veterinary medicine of doses of 0.1 milligrams per kilo. Tula is 20 pounds, that means she's 10 kilos. Her dose of naltrexone would be one milligram. If Tula had one of those cancers we discussed, such as lymphoma, then her naltrexone dose would be one milligram once a day. And if she had one of those serious cancers and she responded to the low dose naltrexone, my inclination would just to be keep her on it. But obviously this is something you need to do in conjunction with your veterinarian. But if your pet has any of those health conditions, I encourage you to discuss low dose naltrexone with them. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on the update of low dose naltrexone for our pets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.